Okay, children. Hello, children. Today we are going to start a topic electrolysis. Okay, fine. Today we what we are going to study, children, about the electrolysis. So first of all, I would like to tell you the definition of electrolysis, children. Okay, the production of a chemical reaction by passing an electric current. The production of a chemical reaction. The production of a chemical reaction. The production of a chemical reaction by passing an electric current. By passing an electric current, children. Then through what? Through an electrolyte. Through an electro light okay now what is the definition of electrolysis the production of a chemical reaction by passing an electrolyte by passing an electric current through an electrolyte is called electrolysis okay now children you know about that electrolyte contains ions you all know that the electrolyte, what does this electrolyte contain children? It contains ions. Electrolyte contains ions. Okay. And what are that ions? That also children. We have discussed that ions are the charged one. Ions are the charged particles children. What are that? These ions are charged. Which are charged. Okay. Then... The positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. There are positively charged ions and the negatively charged ions. Okay. Now what are that positively charged ions are known as children? Positively charged ions are called as cations. Positively charged ions are known as cations children. Okay. And because they are attracted to the cathode. They are attracted to the cathode children. Okay. And the negatively charged particles are known as anions. And where are they attracted? They are attracted towards the anode children. Okay. Fine. Because they are attracted to the anode. And children, you also know that the unlike charges attract each other. You know that the unlike charges, unlike charges, what does they do? They attract each other. Unlike charges attract each other. Fine children. And what does the light charges do children? They repel each other. Fine this much you all we are what we are discussing we are discussing about the electrolysis children okay now cations they are positively charged they will get attracted to the cathode children okay as wait i am making this diagram to show you the movement of ions what i am going to show children the movement of ions movement of movement of ions i am going to show you in an electrolytic cell children now these two are the electrodes okay this you have already studied about the electrolytic cell children so here it is cathode and this is your anode this is here it is an electrolyte okay now cathode and anode this is your negatively charged attached with the battery attached with the battery this is positively charged children okay here this battery is negative and here it is positive now what I was telling that the unlike charges attract each other. Now cations being 
positively charged cations are positively charged these are cations they are positively charged and the anions are the negatively anions are the negatively charged so opposite charges attract each other means these cations will move towards the cathode and the anions will move towards the anode because cations are positively charged and the cathode is negative charge and this is negative charge anion and anode is positively charged okay children so this way you will come to know what is how does the movement of ions take place in the electrolytic cell now for the electrolysis of sodium chloride now here we have taken the sodium chloride now what will be the reaction for the sodium chloride na plus what is it this is cations so the sodium chloride is dissociated into na plus and cl minus that is the chloride ion the reaction you must be remembering we have discussed nacl is equal to na plus and cl minus this is sodium ion and this is chloride ions so this na plus this one sodium ion will be attracted towards the cathode and cl minus chloride ion will be attracted towards the anode this is the movement of ions in an electrolytic cell when we have taken an electro we are discussing right now about the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution now a chemical reaction takes place at the cathode and the anode children the chemical reaction takes place at the cathode and anode okay so how can we observe that the chemical reaction take place at the cathode and anode by the formation of bubbles by the formation of bubbles you can come to know that the chemical reaction takes place at cathode and anode so the uh, formation of bubbles what is that children that is production of gases or you will find the deposition of deposition of children metals deposition of metal on electrodes deposition of metals where on electrodes how you will come to know about that the chemical reaction is taking place by you can see the formation of bubbles and uh, that is production of gases or you can find that the deposition of metal will be there on the electrode or there will be change of color in the electrolyte change of change of color you will find out uh, in the electrolyte so uh, this reaction varies depending on the metals used for the electrodes and the electrolyte okay whichever electrolyte you have chosen and which metal is used for the electrodes now in the case of that electrolysis of sodium chloride which gases are produced children that is hydrogen gas chlorine gas and are produced in the case of the electrolysis of sodium chloride and uh, as well as sodium hydroxide is produced hydrogen gas and chlorine gases produced children during the electrolysis of uh, this one sodium chloride solution now children let us do one activity to show that gases are produced when electric current is passed through a solution of a common salt with gases children hydrogen and chlorine gas so what all material is required you need a, a 9 volt cell electric wire is required as i have made children that tumbler was there and uh, a blade tap water and table salt then you will arrange all that 
operators as i have told you you had just not drawn i have just not drawn that diagram children that you will take that two wires then uh, you will remove the jacket from each then connect one end of each of the two wires to the positive and the negative terminal positive and negative terminals of the cell then of the cell then what you have to do you have to fill the tumbler with the tap water and then you will add sodium chloride solute sodium chloride salt in that beaker or a tumbler this way your apparatus will be arranged now dip two free ends of the wire into the uh, into that water so what you will find children what observation will be there as i have told you you will find that tiny bubble right now i have told that this shows that the chemical reaction is taking place when you find that bubbles are there you will find tiny bubbles at the wire connected to the negative terminal that is cathode of the cell that is cathode of the cell it is negative terminal children these bubbles are formed due to the formation of hydrogen gas what is it these bubbles are formed due to the formation of hydrogen gas and chlorine gas is produced at the wire connected to the positive terminal that is anode which gas is produced children that is chlorine gas is produced at the anode okay and now children you will not able to see that all bubbles uh, very clearly so to test that bubbles are there so what you will do you can remove the anode wire from the salt solution then you what you will find children that no bubbles are formed at the cathode no bubbles are formed at the cathode and now again you have dipped the wire back into the solution you will find that the bubble start formation of bubbles have been started so what is the conclusion that gases are produced when gases are produced these are the gases hydrogen and chlorine gas gases are produced when electric current is passed through a solution of common salt children so this was the activity what which activity children we have done to show that gases are produced these two gases are produced when electric current is passed through a solution of common salt 